So I say the more work we can do in the community, the less work that we'll be bringing up here to you. Deneen Richmond leads her hospital with community and compassion in mind, an approach shaped by obstacles she faced as young as grade school. We basically felt unwanted here. Our buses would pull up and there would be parents of kids throwing things at the bus, yelling nasty things as we're getting off the bus. She remembers experiencing racism for the first time, just trying to get to her new integrated school. No kid should have to go through that, not because of anything that you've done, but just because of the color of your skin. Nearly 50 years later, about a mile from that same school, Richmond is now the president of Luminous Health Doctors Community Medical Center in Maryland. She's one of the few women of color in a healthcare leadership role. Why do you think that is? It's just, you know, the same thing we're seeing in our community. There's still bias, um, there's still racism, and so I think that impacts women of color and our ability to um, be recognized for the talents and strengths that we bring to the table. Good morning, everybody. Now at the head of the table, uh, Richmond is working to make her hospital more inclusive for patients and staff. When you feel like someone looks like you, um, it makes a difference. I wanted the two of us to sit down for a little while. She's also on a mission to pay it forward, returning to her old schools. I would love to, an opportunity to just speak to the students. To share her story about starting out as a registered nurse and working her way up. We have to start as soon as you know, elementary school. Girls need to know that STEM careers are sexy and fun. Richmond hopes a new generation Hi. will continue to expand diversity in medicine and break down inequities in health care. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Prince George's County, Maryland.